Unlike Rush Limbaugh, I do not take obscene profit-centered timeouts. But I'd just like to take a timeout here before the election to simply reflect on a couple things. Number one, if you thought conservative Republicans voting for Joe Biden is an oxymoron, it doesn't get any more oxymoronic than for pro-life evangelicals voting for Biden. There's a website that does exactly that, promoting that. I liked what I saw in a meme the other day. You cannot on Tuesday vote for the guy who supports the right to murder babies and then next Sunday sing, Oh, How I Love Jesus. Now, some of these guys will say, Oh, that's just a single issue. Abortion, you got to be more broad in your understanding of what it is to be pro-life. But those are the lives that are most vulnerable. I love the Babylon Bee. Great satire they put from that site. And they thought about Baal. What was Baal worship about? It was about killing babies. And this is the headline the Babylon Bee, the Babylon Bee wrote. Narrow-minded, single-issue Israelite won't shut up about Baal worship. <laughs> Think about the prophet Elijah. What did he do? He took them on. And the Babylon Bee really punctures a hole in the so-called pro-life evangelicals voting for Biden. Saw another meme. On it was a picture of Amy Coney Barrett. Underneath was the script, support all women except hers. You see the left's way of showing their political hand. But did you know this Girl Scouts recently posted a picture of Amy Coney Barrett with all the other women on the Supreme Court past and present until there was negative feedback and the Girl Scouts took it down. Or how about this one? The picture of a black conservative. The lyrics say, elevate black voices, except his. I texted a law professor who was doing a seminar on critical race theory. I asked him if it was a kind of seminar that judges people by the color of their skin or the content of their character. No answer. I asked him what he thought about Larry Elder, Tim Scott, Candace Owens, Thomas Sowell, and Clarence Thomas. Clarence Thomas. And he replied, they're all prostitutes. On that same meme, you'll see a picture of Joe Biden. And on that picture are these words. No more old white men in politics, except him. You see the hypocrisy from the left when a certain woman, a certain black conservative, or a certain old white liberal uh, doesn't fit their narrative. Well, David Compellion wrote, evangelicals will determine whether America embraces life and freedom or death and tyranny. I like how it comes direct from John MacArthur who says, there's no way that a Christian can affirm the slaughter of babies, homosexual activity, homosexual marriage, or any kind of gross immorality. No way we could stand behind a candidate who was affirming transgender behavior, which of course is really the reprobate mind of Romans 1. And John MacArthur gets to the point. These are moral issues. These are biblical issues. These are not mere political issues. These are the way, these are the things we should think about before we enter the voting booth on November the 3rd. Well, unlike Tony Kornheiser of Pardon the Interruption, I cannot promise you that I will do better the next time.